I'm so excited to be here with all of our 35 contestants. We have a great group of young women, and I feel completely confident that by the end of this week, we will have a wonderful Miss Louisiana to represent us for the next year. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you all for being here today. My name is Lauren Ford, and I am Miss University of Louisiana at Monroe. Hey, everybody. My name is Taylor Walker, and I'm Miss Northwestern Lady of the Bracelet. Good, after good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. I am Miss Louisiana Tech University, Eva Edinger. Hey, everyone. My name is Ashton Davis, and I'm Miss Louisiana Stock Show. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bailey Howell, and I am Miss Minden. Good afternoon. My name is Hannah Ziza, and I am Miss Louisiana Port City. Hi, everyone. I am Miss Report Justine Kerr. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Miss Heart of Pilot, Anna Blake. Greetings, everyone. My name is Jill Hillard, and I am Miss Monroe. Hey, y'all. I'm Hannah Touch, and I'm Miss Louisiana Bayou. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors for your support. I'm Miss Natchitoches, Morgan Tanner. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Miss Southeastern Louisiana University, Emily Randon. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Robin Oguinye, and I am Miss Spirit of the Bayou. Hello, everyone. My name is Lincoln Pierce, and I am Miss Kane River. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Ashton Lamford, Miss Benton. Hello, everyone. I'm Miss St. Tammany Heritage, Laura Levine. Good afternoon. My name is Brianna Mann, and I am Miss Spirit of the Red. Good afternoon. I am Miss Southern Oaks, Renee Piku. Hello, everyone, and thank you all for being here today. I am Miss Spirit of Ruston, Julianne Tippin. Good afternoon. I'm Miss Bell of the Bayou, Victoria Cleveland. Hi, everybody. I'm Dion Sumer, Miss Pride of Central. Hi, y'all. I'm Blake Tabor, Miss Slido. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming today. I am Miss Bozier City, Jalen Henderson. Hello, everyone. My name is Christina Gray, and I am Miss Pride of Monroe. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chelsea Himao, your Miss Capital City. Hi, everyone. My name is Amy Mathern, and I am representing the Miss Heart of Trenton title this year. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Miss Bucare, Shannon Bird. Hello, everyone. I am Miss Louisiana Jazzland, Tori Thompson. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you to the City of Monroe for hosting us and all our sponsors. I am Miss Dixie Jim Peach, Kelly Bernard. Hello, everyone, and good afternoon. I am Miss Crescent City, New Orleans, April Nelson. Good afternoon. I am Miss Holiday and Dixie, Stephanie Averett. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Miss Louisiana Watermelon Festival, Megan Lee. Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Taste of the Twin Cities, Holly Conway. If you haven't heard enough already, good afternoon. I am Miss Greater Baton Rouge, Kiani Betts. Hi, everyone. 
everyone. Last but not least, I'm Miss Spirit of the Washtenaw, Sarah Torregrossa. Hey, thank you, ladies. I'm not sure if you realize, but today in the, we build and build and build through the week until Saturday night. As you know, the mission of the Miss Louisiana organization is to provide scholarship assistance for young women enabling them to further their education while encouraging and empowering them to promote their professional and personal platforms. Well, I've seen a lot of girls with a lot of crowns and a lot of heels, that's for sure. I've also seen today our wonderful sponsors, which we are so thankful for. We couldn't possibly have this organization and the way it functions now without those sponsors. But most of all, I've seen a lot of fun and I'm having a lot of fun. It's just such an exciting week for everybody. The girls are all excited. It's a time during the summer we're all out of school. We're competing and applying for a job that we've all worked so hard uh, to be here during the summer for all year long. So it's just an exciting time and we're all ready for Saturday night. What does the scholarship money mean to you? Well, it means everything. It's allowed me the opportunity to continue to pursue my education without debt. As a science major, as a neuroscience major, I plan to go to medical school, and it's very, very expensive. So being able to compete in the Miss Louisiana organization and earn scholarships has been amazing and wonderful. The scholarship money is one of the most important aspects of the Miss Louisiana program. It's put me through school, it's put a lot of girls through school here, and it's so important in empowering young women and making sure that we are educated and that we educate and help other people be involved in the Miss Louisiana organization as well. Oh, the scholarship money is absolutely wonderful. One of my goals um, in the high school was actually to make sure that my parents never had to pay for my higher education, and the Miss Louisiana organization has been fundamental in making me reach that goal, and I'm very thankful for them. Uh, tonight's Lifestyle and Fitness and Swimsuit Award goes to contestant number 34, Miss Holiday and Dixie, Stephanie Agrid. Congratulations, Stephanie. All right, who will be joining her? Presenting tonight's out. talent award is Dr. Ed Johnson. This $1,000 scholarship is going to contestant number 17, Miss University of Louisiana Monroe, Lauren Ford. Congratulations, ladies. Let's have tonight's preliminary winners join Lacey for that walk down the runway that could lead to the runway in Atlantic City. It wasn't what I was expecting. I had just shoved down like a cheeseburger right before then, so I was definitely expecting it to be someone else. So I was really completely taken off guard, but it's the best feeling in the world to know that I've worked so hard for this and it's really shown. What's your secret to success by winning swimsuit? Determination, most certainly. It's really hard to fight off the foods that you want to eat. Like I said, I did eat a cheeseburger, but really making sure that you're treating your body right and putting the foods in it that need to be eaten. What does the scholarship money mean to you? The scholarship money means to me that I can graduate college debt free and pay off the school that I'm continuing to be a physician's assistant. I was just um, in complete shock. Of course, my talent is something that I've always received a lot of compliments on that I absolutely love doing and have been playing for several years, but actually winning the talent award is just an incredible feeling and I'm thrilled to be able to showcase my music across the state of Louisiana and um, especially through playing the fiddle. What's it going to take to be successful Saturday night? 
I think a lot of hard work, but so many of us girls, we've already put in that hard work and dedication. So right now, it's just having a great time and really leaving it all on the stage and enjoying ourselves. And I think that's what I was able to do tonight and just really enjoyed being able to interact with the audience. What does the scholarship money mean to you? It means the world. I'm actually a doctoral pharmacy student, so the $1,000 talent scholarship um, will go straight toward tuition and is going to help me attain my doctorate of pharmacy, so I'm very thankful for that. The first night of competition, it's a big deal. This is my second pageant, so it's all very new to me, but it's all very, very exciting. And like Taylor said, we have a really fun group, and I really love the girls that I'm with this week. What have you learned about yourself by competing? I have learned so much. Before being in pageants, I've been a ballerina, and through competing, I've learned to be more well-spoken and just more well-rounded as an individual. What is it going to take for you to be successful Saturday night? I think it's going to take a lot of energy, so I've definitely packed my B12, and I'm so excited. It really, just adrenaline is all we need to push through, and I'm very happy to be here. I think my group, I could say for all of us, we had the most fun. We've been called the fun group just because we are all so friendly and talkative, and I think it really helps us with our nerves. So I could say tonight, I wasn't really nervous at all. What have you learned by going through this whole process? I've learned how to be a better version of myself, I think, and that's the one gift that I've taken the most from with the Miss Louisiana organization. It was a blast. I had a great time. Tonight we competed, my group competed in swimsuit and evening gown, and my roommate won swimsuit, so I couldn't be happier, and I'm having the best time of my life. What does it gonna take for you to be successful Saturday night? I think it's really all about being who you are, being true to yourself, making sure that you have really just trusted in every preparation that you've made for this competition, and at the end of the day, having a good time. What does the scholarship money mean to you? It is incredibly important to me, actually. I went to school in Oklahoma. I went to Oklahoma City University, and I was able to afford to go to school. And not only that, I was able to earn $70,000 in scholarship money from this organization. So I am eternally grateful to this organization and the scholarship money. Oh, it's it's wonderful. It's a relief. It's that first night that we, we've competed. Um, we've been able to just get all the nerves and jitters out, but we had such a blast, and I'm just excited about tomorrow. What is it going to take to be successful Saturday night? Just be yourself. Have fun on stage and know that you are good enough to be Miss Louisiana. And even if you don't get the crown Saturday night, um, you are still successful in your own way. Everybody who's here is successful, again, in their own way and is Miss Louisiana to somebody. What does the scholarship money mean to you? It means everything. I recently was put in a situation where I had to take out student loans thanks to TOPS. And um, it's been paying for my, my college education, and now I get to graduate debt-free. And that's such a blessing. Oh, my goodness. It was so exciting. Um, being lined up in the back of the audience to come out for our opening number was definitely nerve-wracking. You see all of your friends and family in the audience. But get, actually getting on stage and seeing those lights and it's lights, camera, action, showtime, it's very, very exciting. I'm glad to be a part of it. What's it going to take for you to be successful Saturday night? Well, I'm definitely going to have to rest up. I actually lost my voice on yesterday, but I was able to get up and perform my talent tonight. Um, so I'm definitely going to need to get some rest, be on voice rest a little bit, and just continue to have fun and enjoy the experience. What have you learned by going through this entire process? I have learned that I am definitely a conqueror because I was very, very sick, and I was able to compete in my talent tonight, and I was doubting myself, but you just got to believe. Tonight's Lifestyle and Fitness and Swimsuit Award goes to contestant number seven, Miss Louisiana Tech University, Eva Ettinger. Presenting tonight's talent award is Dr. Ed Johnson. This $1,000 scholarship is given in memory of Dr. Ed's sister, Dr. Nancy Johnson. Tonight's talent award goes to contestant number 33, April Nelson, Miss Crescent City, New Orleans.
much for joining us tonight. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow night right here at 8 o'clock as we crown our 52nd Miss Louisiana. I was ecstatic. I was overjoyed. And I honestly, it's so nice to be recognized for your talents. Um, I perform as a living. So this was just the icing on top of the cake for me for the whole entire experience. Miss Crescent City, New Orleans, April Nelson. What's it gonna to take to be successful uh, Saturday night? Honestly, and we've talked about this before, it's all about being who you are, staying true to yourself, and making sure that you trust in the preparation that you've done leading up to this point. We've, we're all winners, and we've all worked very hard. What's your recommendation to a young women that may think about getting involved in this Louisiana system? Do it. If you don't do it, then you'll regret it. And especially if you have a talent, if you're a young woman who has goals and dreams and ideals, this organization can only push you to go further in life. I was absolutely shocked. It is a complete honor to be able to hold this award in my hand and know all the hard work I've put into this year to be able to receive this, and I'm just so excited. What was your secret to get ready to become swimsuit winner? I am a dancer, so I spend over 20 hours a week in the studio. A lot of training, um, keeping up physically, and also cross-training in the gym, but also eating healthy and just taking care of my body and just staying happy, honestly. What's it going to take for you to be successful in the finals on Saturday? I think just being myself, going out there and shining and showing everyone who I am and just shining from my heart from the inside out and just being myself and having an absolute blast. What does the scholarship money mean to you? It is so important to me. It's already helped me tremendously in my journey through my undergraduate degree. And I know once I graduate and pursue medical school, it's going to tremendously help me even more. I'm beyond excited to be here. I think it's just been so much fun. This week has been amazing. I've gotten to meet some incredible girls. We've made some amazing memories. So I'm so proud of everyone on this stage, whether or not they won an award. I'm really excited to be here with them. What have you learned by going through this process? I've really learned that it's all about the memories that you make. It's about having fun. It's about getting to know each individual girl. And once you get to know them, you realize they're so genuine. They're so real. And that's really what this is about, getting to know people and growing yourself through this experience. How is the scholarship money going to help you? Oh, the scholarship is everything. It's going to help me continue my education. I just want a STEM scholarship. And being a neuroscience major, this is going to be really helpful for my future and my future endeavors. Tonight's preliminary condition was swimsuit and evening gown. And I'm really, really excited for the women who won. I know they worked really, really hard. Tell us about uh, the scholarship money that you're trying to earn here. Well, I'm a graduate of Georgia Southern University and I'm currently a teacher. And so when I'm looking for scholarship money, it means I can pay off my loans and continue my life of service and not be worried about it, not being financially stable to support my students. What have you learned by going through this uh, process? It's an incredibly humbling experience to be around so many women who are talented, who are ambitious, who are kind and compassionate. It is humbling and I've learned that I, I could use a lot of humility in my life. The competition tonight was great. I had a blast on stage. I was so excited to do my tap routine because it's been quite a while since I've gotten a chance to put on tap shoes and I had a blast. What does the scholarship money mean to you? Everything. <laughs> um, the scholarship money is one of the main reasons that many of us join this organization as well as the charity work around the community. It would 
it would be a big time help as far as going back to grad school and paying off some student loans that I have from my undergrad. What have you learned by going through this process? I've learned so much from this process. I've made some amazing friendships and I've learned little bits and pieces of, of different things from each different girl and it's been amazing. Tonight was wonderful. It's such a relief to just have it all up there out on the stage and to just be able to, you know, relax, go home and eat a pizza and just go home and have a good time with the girls. What have you learned by going through this process? Time management is a biggie, so that's definitely something that I'm taking home with me today. What does the scholarship money mean to you? Uh, tons. There's tons of budget cuts going on right now, and I'm a freshman in college this year. I'm attending ULM, so this is a big deal for me. Like, anything helps with what's going on right now. Second night was just amazing. Talent is definitely my favorite for all the judges in the audience to see what I'm so passionate about doing. What does the scholarship money mean to you? Scholarship money means tons. It provides girls with money for the, to pursue the education that they need and careers that they're so passionate about. What have you learned by going through this process? What I have learned about going through this process is definitely living in the moment. I just realized that tomorrow is our last day and we're not going to be able to relive this. And so I'm just think, soaking it all in right now. It's so overwhelming because all of these women have worked so hard and we're all just so happy that we've accomplished the things that we have in the Miss Louisiana organization. So it's really rewarding to be here. What have you learned about yourself by going through this process? I have learned that I'm a very determined person as well as the 34 other contestants. Each woman is so giving and so genuine and kind and it's really amazing what women can do when they come together. What's your recommendation to others uh, that might want to consider getting involved in the Miss Louisiana system? Do it. A year ago, I never thought that I would be standing here, and I took a chance, and I took a leap, and I'm soaring, and I'm so successful because of Miss America and the Miss Louisiana organization.